What do you think of Old Town Road by Lil Nas X? Listen. First of all, Old Town Road proves my fucking point that I've been saying all along about hip hop, genres, um, the guarding of, 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 of genres and shit like that, the gatekeepers. Um, fuck Old Town Road as a song. I mean, it is catchy, but at the same time, it's whack, like Dave East said. Um, you see what I'm saying? Like, like for a real rapper, that's not a dope song. Like, that's not nothing I'm really going to play. But at the same time, when I heard it, you know, is it catchy? Like, yeah, it's catchy. Now, do I feel it's country enough to be on the country music charts? Absolutely, I do. If you're going to say some of this bullshit we got out here is hip-hop enough to be hip-hop, when, I, when certain people might feel that it's not, well, then, God damn it, let this motherfucker in. You see? But we as black people are quick to let these white people come into our shit, do our shit, and we're accepting. Oh, yeah, no, that's hip-hop. Let him in. This black man want to come and do a country s thing and get on the billboard charts and they said no you don't black man black nigger you're not country enough for us sorry and this is exactly what i've been saying the whole time well I, i'm kind of on the opposite end of, of this argument usually i'm on hip-hop side when it comes to this type of thing but in this particular time, I actually understand why the song was taken off the country charts. Why? Here's why. Let's just say a country singer, someone that's been doing, you know, putting out country songs on his YouTube channel for a couple of years, who's a, a, a standard, you know, country guy who plays the guitar and talks about country music type stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He decides one day, you know something? I'm going I'm going to just play around and switch it up. I'm going to go ahead and make a hip hop song and in the song I'm going to talk about wearing gold chains and smoking blunts and a bunch of stereotypical stuff that non hip hop people look at rappers and associate themselves mm -hmm. with. And the song suddenly starts to chart mm -hmm. cuz it's catchy. And it gets on the hip hop charts. Mm -hmm. I think most hip hop people would look at that and say, "Man, get this parody song off this off these charts." Do do you we? Because we you've so. described Post Malone right there. You just described Post Malone. Hmm. The hmm. fuck are you talking about? Hmm. The fuck are you talking about? Post Malone. Let's take a look at Post Malone. Post Malone used charts. to do folk music, bro. Post Malone admittedly mm. sits around with a guitar and comes up with his melodies on the fucking floor with him and his brother and fucking, that's where they come up with the shit. He was a folk singer who did exa everything that you're talking about right now. And, and, and I seen him up and up and down. Motherfuckers accepted him. Nobody mm. stopped him from being on the fucking hip hop charts. Nobody said nothing. He's making songs with 21 Sat, all of these motherfuckers. He does the same shit you talk, hip hop references, drugs, all of that. Hmm. The Beastie Boys did punk rock. Came in with all these fucking, uh, da -da -da smoking crack, did all, all of that shit that you talking about. It's already been done by white people and we let it happen. Hmm. So you better get your fucking ass back on the hip hop side <laughs> and cut that bullshit out. Okay. You know something? Bringing up those examples, I'm going to actually modify my stance. Thank you. I I'm going to Usually me and you will will keep debating until we give up, but in this particular instance, I think you have absolutely proven your point, especially with Post Malone. Yeah, you're right. Thank you're you. right. He was doing In fact, I remember when that weird video came out where he was wearing like Daisy Dukes and shit like that. He even said, I'm not a rapper. And listen, when the, and when the people at Billboard or whatever, whoever, first of all, I don't know who it is,
but no one came and said, who does this guy think he is to, to like, um, stop this guy from being on the country charts? Like, who are you to say what's country and what's not? All the shit motherfuckers was telling me. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, tell it to these motherfuckers. All oh, music is just music. That's what y'all was telling me. Oh, how how could a how could a music have a color and all of this type, man? But that's what they were saying. He's not white enough. It's not that it wasn't country enough. He wasn't white enough, even though black people created country music. Yeah, look black it up. People, created black people created country music. Country music. Look it up. Hmm. The original fucking cowboy is a black fucking person. The original term cowboy is applied to a black man. Shh. You motherfuckers steal every fucking thing. Well, uh, Billy Ray Cyrus jumping on that song. Helped it immensely. Put it number helped one. Helped it immensely. It said, and, and fuck the country charts. We're just going to go straight to the Billboard 100. Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Billy Ray was basically rapping in that song. You know, Baby Gotta Have It, Diamond Rings and Fendi Sports Bras. He's driving my shit, my, 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 my cowboy hat is my Gucci. Maserati sports Wrangler car. on my like, booty. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, see, I loved, I loved the fuck you-ness of homeboy going to get Billy Ray Cyrus. A word? Oh, I'm not country enough? A word? All right, let me get this country motherfucker. You know what I mean? Who I know y'all fuck with. I'm going to get this nigga on my song. Or well, I'm going to at least try. First of all, I only, how'd he do that? He jumped in his DMs like, uh, that was a bold no, move right there. No, I mean, actually, I saw a little video um, that Billy Ray posted. And Billy Ray actually loved the song. And it reminded him, he, he said he used to play in Kentucky and there was an actual Old Town Road in oh, Kentucky wow. where, where he played. And he said he loved the song. And when he heard about the controversy. them taking, well, th when he heard that they took the song off the charts, he said, how the hell is this not country? Fuck this. I'm going to go jump on this song. Right. And I'm going to make it country. Wow. That... And, I mean, and, and think about who Billy Ray's daughter is. Right. And think about how much hip hop crossover she's Absolutely. had over the years. Now... What I would like to know is, and I'm not sure, once he got on the song, did these motherfuckers capitulate yeah. and put it on yeah. the country music charts? It, it got on the country music charts. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> exactly.